Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So now we're going to discuss about XXE part two. All right, so this is the part where we are going to try all right, to launch the XXE attack against the web application system. So we're on lesson number four of web code under A4 XML external entities. So all we got to do right now is to look under this section. All right, so it says in this assignment, you add a comment to the photo when submitting the form, try to execute an XXE injection with the comments view. Try listing the root directory of the file system. So the first thing we want to do is just go ahead with the normal process, all right? So which is to understand what happens when you go through how a normal user, all right, will actually input data into the system or right, into the database and ultimately returning us a result. So I can enter, for example, test, and I can click submit. And immediately we can see over here that we have the result test. So we have inputted something all right, into the system. So it returns the following information under command field. All right. So what we can do next is to investigate the situation. All right. So first thing is you can actually go to the top right corner of your Firefox or Chrome and go under web developer. Click under network. All right. So in, right now, in this case, I'm going to enter tests and click submit. All right. And I'm going to pause here. So of course we have the lesson overview, lesson manual that again comes a lot of times together with web code. But what we're looking for is the post instruction here. So under simple, I can click on it and we can look at the parameters. And in this case, under params, we can see the XML version equal 1.0 and followed by text tests. All right, and of course we got a response and it says the feedback, sorry, the solution is not correct. Please try again. Okay, so we can look at the parameters and we can do a right click under the row and click on edit and resend. So over here under edit re and resend, we can look at the information, right? So we have the host, the user agent, the accept language, the referral, and we have the J session ID. And of course, what's really important is the content type. So in this case, we have the application slash XML. So in many cases, it could be different type of content type, all right? So it could be other types of application. And as we submit all these different instructions in the web application system, we can also change how we want to tell the web application system what kind of application or content type it is, all right? Using application slash XML as part of the declaration. So under the request body over here, we have XML version equal 1.0. Okay, and we have command. So what we're going to do right now is that I've already placed the payload for us. So over here, we have the XML version and we can just copy the following over here. So I'm going to explain to you what it all means. All right, so I'm going to paste it. All right, so we have the doc type, we have the change log, and then we have the entity. So in this case, we're naming entity as XXE and we have system file. And of course, I can enter etc slash pass wd. And of course, in this case, under the comment part, I'm going to change this, all right, into the end sign, all right, which is right above seven, and then we can enter XXE. All right, so once you've keyed all these details, you can actually run it, and you can go ahead and enter send, okay? And then we can pause the information right here. So again, what we're doing is we're trying to submit information into the web application system, trying to get some kind of response from the system, all right? So that's one of those ways. So of course, if I do a refresh, I may or may not see the results being placed into the into the comment section. All right, so no worries about it. So what we can do once again is to enter, for example, test. Okay, I can play this, click submit. Okay, and pause it once again. Go all the way down to the bottom under simple, right? So I can do a edit and resend. And right now I'm gonna paste the same information again, but this time around without the specification of etc pass wd. All right, so I'm just gonna change this, for example, to the end sign followed by XXE. All right, so once you have all this information and input being put in place, I can play it and I can click on send. So once it's been sent into the web application system for processing, I can go ahead and double click on it. All right, and we can see over here. All right, so we got different results coming in and it says, sorry, the solution is not correct. And it says must end with a semicolon. Okay, we, so we are getting error messages coming in from the feedback, all right, from the web application system or from the parser. And of course, here we can see Java X XML. So go back, all right, I did a resend, okay. And of course, in this case, I should have placed in a semicolon at the end of the 
declaration so I can play it now and I can click on send. So once I'm done with it, let me pause it, double click on it right now. Okay, and we can see congratulations. You have successfully completed the assignment. All right, so this is one of the ways where we can use Talai's web developer on the network tab to edit our payload and then sending it over into the web application system as it does the parsing. The next option that we have is to actually turn on Burp Suite. Okay, so I can over here open up a terminal and enter Burp Suite. So this will start up Burp Suite. All right, so once Burp Suite is started, we can click on Next and we can start Burp. Okay, and we can go back under the proxy and we can enable the proxy and I can edit it over here so I can bind to port all right 8888 and click OK okay so once we got it we can click under intercept tab and I can go back under Firefox and I can go under preferences and go under settings and click under manual proxy configuration and click OK so once we have that we can see all the instructions coming in right so we can drop all these different details and I can go back into the web server and now I can go ahead and enter, for example, another one here. I can enter test and click submit and it will get picked up by Burp Suite. Okay, so I can drop the lesson manual.mvc, lesson overview.mvc. All right. And this is the one that we're looking for, which is post web code xxe slash simple. And we have, for example, over here, the XML version. So I can do a right click and send to repeater or control R. So once we click under send the repeater over here, so this all the information that we already have, and you can click send. And once you click send, you get a results coming back, right? So it says, sorry, the solution is not correct. Please try again. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go back into the payload that I've crafted for you. So I can do a right click copy, and now we can paste it over, all right? Replacing the existing XML that we already have. All right, so I can right click, and I can paste the results over here. Okay, so we have the following, right? And we can go ahead and click on the send. And of course, immediately we get a result. Congratulations, you have successfully completed the assignment. So I can also enter, for example, etc slash pass wd. All right, and I can also click send. All right, so of course, in this case, it says, sorry, the solution is not correct, but no worries. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get back certain results from the web application system. Okay, so once we're done with this, I can go back to web code, all right? And I can go under preferences and I can temporarily turn off the proxy and I can just click on the refresh, all right? And we can see the results coming in. So in this case, we can see over here, we have the list of users under ETC PassWD that we have enumerated. And we also have, for example, over here, which is the list of all the directories inside the root folder. As you can see here, we have OPT, MNT, and so on. So again, there are a lot of things that we can do as part of an XXE attack where we can make the system do all sorts of instruction, listing down directories, giving us a different shell, putting up a backdoor, and many, many different type of attacks that can be followed up from here. So once again, I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of your queries. So remember like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.